Hello beautiful people, it's Yvette Corinne and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing with you guys my review, opinion, whatever you want to call it, about bays. I don't have any bays luggage pieces, like rolly pieces, but I have a bunch of bays accessories, tote bags, work bags, all of that. So I wanted to share like a little review of all my favorites, why I love them, and kind of give you like an inside up close and personal if you're thinking about getting anything from Bays or you thought about any of these pieces I'm gonna share with you guys. So I'm gonna start off with the most popular one. I think it's super popular. My, one of my really, really good friends out here, she bought me this last Christmas and I also just bought it again, but in the mini size. So it is the Weekender. So she bought me the Weekender in gray last year for either my birthday or Christmas, I'm not really sure. And this is what it looks like. I use this all the time. It's like my um, shooting overnight like work bag. Whenever I am shooting, I put all my clothes and shoes in here. It's perfect for shoes. I love the bottom compartment. It's perfect for shoes and it's just so much space. So it's super spacious like it has the laptop space in here a zipper slots like it's super spacious it's a really big bag um i never traveled with it because i always bring a rolly carry-on and another tote bag that i can fit under my seat and i feel like this one's just a little too big to put under the seat but it is good if you're like traveling literally like what it says maybe a road trip a weekend a lot of people use it as their carry-on and they will like put this at the top but because I always do a small bag for my carry-on like a small luggage bag it's perfect so if you were thinking about getting this yes so I did decide though this holiday I wanted to do another bag for my um, top tote bag instead of my normal tote bag so I got the mini weekender which is essentially the exact same bag but I got the convertible this time because I wanted to be able to do more with it the mini weekender i just got it during black friday it is smaller as you can tell i got the black one because my um my fiance is going to be the one carrying it and i know that he would just rather it be black and it's great actually i love the black i think black is so sleek i love black all the time i do like that the bottom of this one comes off so i got the convertible where this whole bottom part comes off on the regular weekender if you don't get the convertible one the bottom doesn't come off it's just stuck on there which isn't a problem normally because I use that for shoes but if you want to just have a smaller tote bag without the bottom that's a nice feature and I think the size of this is perfect so again same laptop sleeve but the laptop sleeve is detachable on this bag so let me show you guys it's actually perfect so yeah I would put my iPad in here probably because I don't think I'm bringing my laptop, but it has that. Oh, it's so cute and it's attachable. Um, and then it has a zipper compartment and then two more slots as well. Yeah, I like this one, y'all. I can't get it back in, but I like this one a lot. So yeah, this is the mini convertible weekender. Can't wait to use it. Okay, this is something else that I got that was new that was kind of unnecessary <laughs> but it was on sale for black friday and i thought it was really handy and a lot of people talked about it and the reviews were great is this behind the seat sleeve so i got the cream colored one um tan because the black one was sold out but i was like yeah i don't think i really care about the color um i just like the functionality so basically it's magnetic i don't like to put my hand behind the seat on the plane so i love stuff like this because Last time I was flying, I put my Kindle behind there and I was moving so quick because they last minute told me like, girl, sorry, we're changing flights. You have to get off now. It was one of those where I had to like sit on the plane and go and like everybody else got off, but I stayed because I was going to the next destination. But the last minute they decided that no, they wanted me to get off as well. And so I was rushing to get my stuff and I left my Kindle in the back seat. <laughs> I was so sad but if I had something like this I would just grab it all I would see it and I wouldn't forget and my Kindle would not have been forgotten so I'm excited to use this I'm gonna put like my important things I do wipe down my seat so I'll probably just put like my Lysol and stuff and then my 
um, ID because it'll just be easier to grab if needed, like my wallet. And then I'll probably put my Kindle here in the front and some hand sanitizer, um, just small things like that. And then I will just leave this in my carry-on bag. So it'll be under my seat. And then when I get on the plane, I'll just take it out that bag and then plop it on the front. So cute. All right, moving right along to some things that I've already had that I've been using. Um, this is like one of my favorite things. I got this last holiday, the makeup kit or makeup carrying case. And I loved it so much that I bought it for two of my friends for Christmas. And it is super easy to clean. Like the inside of my makeup spilled everywhere. It's not that, it's not that bad right now, but I have, oops. A bunch of my makeup in here these are just like the makeup this is just like the makeup that I use on the daily and this little part right here comes off and it's like a little magnet but you put your brushes here in the front and then there's another zipper compartment here in the back where I leave like sponges and stuff and then it comes with a mirror so it comes with its own little mirror stand which is very convenient when you're traveling and it just slides right here the mirror and the part of the brushes that I told you guys it was magnetic Ooh, that one does not want to stay but it just comes off and you just magnet it back and it's great I bring this everywhere I go um, it's just like my makeup carrying case and it holds a very good amount and that's it so that is that moving right along in like the travel cases I got this when I went to New York Fashion Week this year and it looks like this it is a jewelry holder and I'll insert some photos of me um, using it in the hotel in New York and it is perfect I still have jewelry in here but y'all it's perfect you just hang it. it has a little hanger little what are these called like little slots for you to hang your jewelry I put all my necklaces here all my small earrings here the bigger stuff I put my bracelets and stuff here more bracelets and I actually put my perfume because I have a lot of travel size perfumes I just put them all down here so my perfume stay here and all my jewelry and it was perfect hung it on the door and the best I felt like this was one of the best purchases like and then you just roll it up and it's magnetic so you don't have to worry about it like flopping everywhere like it just sticks and I love that and then the back it says bays you can barely see it but it's not that bad but when you're hanging it, it just looks like that in the back perfect another kit like that that I actually got from New York and I loved as well is their like organizer kit it kind of looks like the makeup kit but it's not it's a nylon the makeup is the leather so this one is like a nylon material and when you open it it's also something that hangs you can hang it as well I still have stuff in here, but I keep my like panty liners and feminine wipes and keep tips at the top because this is where I normally put all that stuff. And then this little part says to go and I just leave. It's my key soul care, like body cream, body wash and stuff like that. And then you can stick stuff back here. And then this little part right here is a little net. I have just like the Glossier milk jelly in here, but yeah, it's just like perfect. I actually had this and I thought it was good to keep everything like my skincare and everything just organized while we were in the hotel and I was also in a hotel with a friend. So it was just easy to keep all my stuff together and I have like all my stuff spread out. So I really, really like this. I thought this was really useful and at first I didn't think I was going to use it that much until I was packing and I was like oh this is really good last but not least um before I get into the last thing I do have the Bay's work tote it is the croc tote it comes in black and tan I've been having that one for like a year and a half I think when Bay's like first came out that was the first tote that I got love that tote it's currently filled with like stuff so I'm not going to show you guys right now but I do have a full video that I'll link in the cards of me comparing that bag to the Marc Jacobs the tote bag so if you want to see a nice comparison on what tote bag if you're looking for a good tote bag to get definitely check that out and then lastly I got the cosmetic pouches so it comes with two in one two little pouches they also say bays it's just like the other um jewelry case did and I haven't used them yet I just got them but they're very spacious so this is a cosmetic pouch and it has a zipper compartment in the back which is 
really handy. It has another compartment, another compartment, and then another zipper compartment in the middle. And I was like, oh, this is a really, really spacious bag. So I will probably, this holiday, not bring my makeup kit because I'm trying to pack a little bit smaller. So instead of bringing the bigger makeup kit, I'll probably put all my makeup in this bag and I'll feel a little compact with this. And then what I use this one for is my like daily everything that I put in my handbags. So I have a lot of purses and I switch out my purses pretty much regularly. And sometimes I'm forgetting something and it's very, very, very frustrating. So I put everything that I just must have in this little pouch and I just keep it. And then whenever I'm like switching out purse, purses, I'll just grab this and put it in the next purse. So basically I just keep, if you wanna see what it looks like in here, it's really space, spacious as well, but it's, it looks like this. And then it has another back slot and in that back slot I just have a stick of gum and then I have my vitamins and here I have my phone portable charger um, a thing of lotion some lip chap um, hand sanitizer Advil because you never know uh, gotta keep it on deck um, I also have a little it's like a matcha lozenger, but it gives you energy. So I, I keep one of these in here. And then I just keep my Glossier perfume. Um, it's the, the best little travel perfume. And I just keep that in here just in case. I normally grab a travel perfume and put it in my purse whenever I'm moving and grooving because I have so many travel perfumes. But that one just stays in there just in case. So it fits a lot. I don't even have it stuffed, but I have like just enough stuff in here and I just transfer it between my purses so I thought this was perfect for that if you're looking for something like that it's like the perfect size it's not too big but that is pretty much it I would love Bay's actual rolly luggage or the check-in luggage because I saw that she has a weight indicator on her luggage which I think is amazing because I'm like girl that's great like a lot of times I'm over and I just want to know but like your weight indicator will let you know before you get to the airport you don't have to like embarrassingly sit down and like move stuff around to get it to be under 50 genius Shay Mitchell thought of it all so if you're interested in seeing what some base stuff is like this is more of an accessories haul I don't have any luggage yet but um I will report back when I have a luggage. If you are looking at some luggage that you want to see some reviews on, check out my Cowpack luggage review. I did a full luggage of all the luggage I have from them. Um, definitely check that out. But yeah, if you're looking for some bays, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, ask me any questions. I'm here to help. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you thought this was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.